GPT-4 Omni is going to completely redefine the future of human and artificial intelligence interaction. But don't just take my word for it. Imagine having a conversation with an AI that not only understands what you say, but can respond in real time with emotions and seamless transitions. That's exactly what GPT-4 Omni promises. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. <laughs> a bit there. Mark? You're not a vacuum cleaner. In this video, we'll unpack what makes GPT-4 Omni special. We'll do a deep dive into its visual reasoning capabilities to see if it's really a market improvement compared to GPT-4. We'll take a look at the speed improvements to see how much time it will really save you on a day-to-day -day basis. And we'll take a listen to its natural language spoken word and multilingual translation capabilities. First, let's see how smart these models really are in a head-to-head -head challenge with the Mensa IQ quiz and a classical intelligence test from 123test.com. In this head-to-head -head challenge, we gave GPT-4 and GPT-4 Omni the exact same set of instructions. Do not provide any reasoning, give me only the answer. And as far as the question's input is concerned, we provided the models only a screenshot of the question. This really puts to test the visual reasoning capability. As far as the Mensa visual reasoning test is concerned, GPT-4 scored below average IQ, that's under 100. It doesn't give you further details than that. Additionally, it doesn't provide you with a list of questions you answered correctly or incorrectly. It took GPT-4 15 minutes and 15 seconds to complete the test of 35 questions. GPT-4 also scored below average IQ on the 123 test. This was a mixed array again of language, visual and numerical problem solving, and it took six minutes and 30 seconds for GPT-4 to complete this array. GPT-4 Omni scored exactly the same as GPT-4 on the Mensa Visual Reasoning Challenge with a score below 100 IQ. The time to complete this quiz was 14 minutes and 50 seconds, making it reasonably faster. GPT-4 Omni scored below average IQ as well on the 123 test with five out of 10 questions answered correctly. However, it completed this quiz in just five minutes. Head to head, GPT-4 and GPT-4 Omni did not produce their results in a massively different time frame. This is because the speed difference that we see with GPT-4 Omni compared to GPT-4 is somewhat reduced when we include other modalities. It seems that the visual reasoning capabilities is likely the bottleneck causing the similarity. Looking at the actual results of GPT-4 versus GPT-4 Omni on the 123 test, we notice that they both get semantic and language reasoning problems correct. However, it's the visual reasoning capabilities that seem to be lagging behind. Now, this is much less a criticism than it is an observation. GPT-4 and GPT-4 Omni are still truly remarkable pieces of technology and they can support us in a very wide array of day-to-day -day tasks. All right, let's unpack what GPT-4 Omni is really all about and why people are heralding it as the new era of truly versatile and practical AI assistants. The O in GPT-4O stands for Omni and it includes five modalities now. The traditional text that we're all used to using, it includes audio speech recognition in real time, allowing you to speak to the model. It includes audio translation, allowing it to recognize two different speakers in the room and multiple languages spoken simultaneously. It also includes multilingual vision problems where it can help you understand pictures that are written in different languages. The vision capabilities, as we've already seen, remain roughly equivalent to GPT-4 previously seen, but it's a powerful tool altogether. And it's the combination of these modalities all together at once, which makes GPT-4 Omni quite special. GPT-4 Omni does extremely well on text evaluation benchmarks as we can see in this graph provided by OpenAI. This array of benchmark tests pits GPT-4 Omni, GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4's initial release version, Claude 3 Opus, Gemini Pro 1.5, Gemini Ultra 1.0, and Llama 3 400B. But 4 Omni seems to be the leader of the pack across the board, mostly. These changes and improvements we see in 4 Omni compared to the previous GPT-4 are not huge. It's the speed at which it retains the same level of accuracy that makes GPT-4 Omni a noteworthy achievement over here. Speech-to-text accuracy is also very good with GPT-4 Omni. Whisper was already very good as well, but GPT-4 Omni is even better according to these benchmarks. The audio ASR performance, lower is better, indicates the word error rate 
as a percentage of total words spoken. GPT-4 Omni very rarely gets the spoken word incorrect, and the reasoning ability of the language model is often enough to compensate for any transcription errors noted anyway. The audio translation performance is also marginally better than Gemini on audio translation tasks. And it seems like we're actually getting very close to the science fiction vision of a universal translator that we've seen in Star Trek. The vision performance across a handful of languages for GPT-4 Omni shows marginal improvement compared to the previous GPT-4. The M3 exam is a benchmark that uses multilingual and visual evaluation simultaneously. These consist of multiple choice questions from multiple different countries using standardized testing methodology. GPT-4 Omni beats all others on paper when it comes to vision problem solving. It beats GPT-4 Turbo, Gemini 1.0 Ultra, Gemini 1.5 Pro, and Claude Opus. However, it remains to be seen if the difference in these evals actually translates into real-world practical use. Additionally, it's worth noting that the live video application that we saw from the live demos is not actually available yet in the app. The visual reasoning capability of GPT-4 Omni was really hyped up quite a lot during the reveal event. And whilst it may not have done particularly well on the Mensa IQ evaluation test, let's see how it will function in common, practical, real life use cases. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling though? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. In this example, we provided GPT-4 Omni a screen grab of a web page. This is a Gumroad web page where I host free downloadable PDF versions of these videos. We asked it to improve the web page and add more value for visitors. It provided some decent suggestions, for example, adding testimonials or reviews, add more interactive elements. It did mention to include more case studies, success stories, an FAQ section, and even an author bio and credentials. These are good suggestions and something I might consider for future. The next visual reasoning problem we gave GPT-4 Omni was related to thumbnails. This is the type of thing we imagine is quite a common task which many people will use GPT-4 Omni on a day-to-day -day basis for. We asked it to evaluate a range of five thumbnails. Specifically, we asked it, which of these thumbnails do you think will perform the best? It provided a good and concise evaluation of each of the thumbnails and issued a recommendation based on its own internal reasoning. It suggested that the thumbnail with the text, she's alive, will be the best. The final visual evaluation test that we gave GPT-4 Omni was something that many of us have been looking forward to since it was first teased all the way back in 2023. We issued it a doodle of a web page with blocks indicating what those web elements might be. We crafted a very well engineered prompt related to the web page. Then we asked it to update the style of the web page based on the style of the provided thumbnail. The result was quite impressive. The web page indeed functions as it ought to. We've got areas delimiting each of the product cards. The Hero Banner Carousel is also operating as a block the way we wanted to visualize it. We've got a functional mega menu at the top and we've also got a functional Google Maps embed at the bottom. The speed improvements of GPT-4 Omni are truly remarkable. These are the kinds of things that actually make compounding improvement in your day-to-day -day use. To evaluate the speed of GPT-4 Omni versus GPT-4, we put GPT-4 Omni and GPT-4 against one another in a head-to-head -head speed comparison. We issued each of them the exact same instruction using the exact same image. The prompt was examine the ingredients in the picture attached. Identify each ingredient and list their FDA nutritional profile. List the steps necessary to make a meal with a portion not exceeding 500 kilocalories. Finally, list the macronutrient profile of the meal portion. This evaluation is purely for speed. We don't really expect GPT-4 Omni to be able to do these calculations uh, in a way that's reliable, but the compounding nature of the question will ensure that the prompted output 
is large. GPT-4 Omni responded with 2,950 characters in just approximately 44 seconds. Comparing this to GPT-4, it finished only 1,930 characters and took 53 seconds to complete this. Head to head, this means that GPT-4 produces 36,415 characters per second, where GPT-4 Omni in our test yielded approximately 67,045 characters per second. In pure language generation, GPT-4 Omni is at least twice as fast. This speed is thankfully also being translated into cost saving for people like developers and hobbyist programmers who are using the API to produce tools and software applications for themselves. GPT-4 Omni is 75% discounted compared to GPT-4 for outputs and 83% cheaper for inputs. Finally, let's examine the natural language expression of GPT-4 Omni. What makes this extremely special is that it's able to verbalize audibly its language. Hey ChatGPT, I'm here with my coworker today. Um, we'd like you to act as our translator for us. So every time I say something in English, can you repeat it back in Spanish? And every time he says something in Spanish, can you repeat it back in English? Sure, I can do that. Let's get this translation train rolling. Um, hey, how's it been going? Have you been up to anything interesting recently? Um, hola, ¿cómo te ha ido? ¿Has hecho algo interesante últimamente? Hola, bien. Uh, sí, un poco ocupado aquí preparando un evento para la semana que viene. The real game changer here is just how natural the spoken language and dialogue feels when communicating with GPT-4 Omni. And what makes that really, really special is that it's not just limited to English language speakers. In fact, it covers over 50 different languages and multiple speakers at the same time. We put its language translating abilities to the test. We asked it to translate a specific English sentence into four other languages, Afrikaans, Spanish, Zulu, and Corsa. Here's our sentence. Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the world of technology. First, let's translate this into Afrikaans. Kunstmatige intelligentie is besig om die wereld van technologie te revolutioneer. Now let's see it in Spanish. La inteligencia artificial está revolucionando el mundo de la tecnología. Let's try Isizulu. Ubalakani boku fakelwa buchincha umlaba wezo buchwefeche. And finally, let's see it in Isik Sosa. And technology. Whilst I'm not proficient in any of these languages, I was able to understand the Afrikaans at least well enough. It's probably not good enough for academic or professional grade writing, but if you're just trying to communicate between two individuals in a forgiving setting, this is pretty good. If you found this video helpful and would like a free downloadable PDF version of it, click on the Gumroad link in the description box below. It's 100% free. GPT-4 Omni is completely changing the way we communicate with artificial intelligence. But if you'd like to change your relationship with learning, research, and skill acquisition, check out this video on Perplexity AI.